I'm Barry Francisco for Vader News, and I'm continuing my discussion with Noah Doyle. He's a venture partner at Javelin Venture Partners. Noah, you've invested in nine companies and raised $70 million in, uh, for your fund. How many companies are you expecting to invest in over the next couple years? Well, this, this fund will include um, at least 18 to 20 companies and possibly more than that. Okay. Wow. All right. So, and is that going to be in the next next year? Or Basically, so, the next uh, you know year and a half. The next year and a yeah. half, you're going to yeah. be looking at eighteen, uh, nine more companies, nine to ten more companies. Nine to ten at least. Yeah. What's the deal flow like out there? The company is uh, getting better. Yeah. It's it, it's phenomenal. I mean, you know, it's a combination of fundamental economic trends, the fact that it's easier and cheaper to start a business than ever, um, and just the economy with people either coming out of bigger companies due to layoffs or just not seeing the opportunities there in the larger companies. Uh, more and more they're just starting their own businesses rather than go into a tough job market. But is that a trend to the economy or is there something generational going on? I mean, are, are you going to see more entrepreneurs? I, I think you are. I think you, you have um, a remarkable community of entrepreneurs who have done it before. You know, if you think about of the early days of Silicon Valley um, in the semiconductor industry and Apple Computer and kind of several generations of entrepreneurs who've now gone through the cycle. Mm -hmm. There's such a huge community of mentors who can, and investors, angel investors, who can support this process mm -hmm. that for a new entrepreneur, um, they can really go into this with a ton of support and a ton of help and great advice. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there's just enormous innovation. It's, it's so so easy to innovate. Anybody with a PC and access to the internet can build a great product. What do you see too much of? Um, there, there has been a big trend toward social networking products, um, a lot of Twitter-related products, yes, and that's true. Um, a lot of them. There's a fair number of Me Too products, and they're all useful and clever. There's definitely a danger in that you, if you build a product that's really a feature of something larger, that ultimately that larger you know, solution, that, um, that bigger player is going to build that feature and you may be out or, of a business. Or buy, like Twitter and some eyes. Yeah, I think they, they, they may well you know, make a purchase, yeah. um, but you know, they'll purchase one, and if there's already several of them, that leaves the other ones behind. You made uh, a couple of recent investments. Tell me about a couple of them. Absolutely. Um, we uh, just in, uh, actually currently will be closing uh, two new investments. Um, one is in Nexenta, which is uh, actually a fabulous tool for new um, web-related startups because it creates a virtual pool of storage uh, using commodity hardware um, to create the equivalent of network-attached storage solutions at uh, equal or better performance. Hmm. to the tr traditional appliance vendors. Um, and it, uh, it, it's highly scalable. Um, it uses 128-bit address space, so it can get to the petabyte scale, um, all using hard disks, which you can literally go down to Fry's and buy for 30 cents a gig. Um, so it's, in many ways, a revolutionary uh, technology, and the company's doing really well. We're very excited about that one. The second one is Sense Networks which is a uh, New York-based company that is a uh, specialist in machine learning, mm -hmm. um, which is an advanced form of data analytics mm -hmm. that extracts information from a data set um, that can be a very, very large, complex, noisy data set, toss the original data, and keep the, the vast majority of the uh, intelligence Mm -hmm. from that information to mm -hmm. be deployed in a decision-making system. Mm -hmm. So their initial focus is around location information and um, using data, for example, from GPS and from cell phones to understand how people's behavior in, um, in literally where they go and when they go to different places can be used to do things like better target them for advertising, mm -hmm. better retain them as customers for wireless service, um, 
They've understand got a long way to go. financial risk. There. Yeah, it's, it's right. a very large market, uh, very advanced technology, early stages of the go-to-market. Question for you: So it sounds like you're, you know, you've got it, you've got it down in terms of what you want to invest in. How much does it cost to be part of your fund? If I'm a, an accredited investor and want to be part of it, what, what do I get out of your <laughs> ability to choose great companies? Um, you mean sort of what the returns are likely to be, or yeah, or what you know, what is how much does it cost? Like how much do I have to pay to be in your fund if I wanted to? Not that you're raising, uh -huh. but your new fund, your next fund. I want oh, to be the next fund. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's pretty much standard, you know, industry kind of economic structure for the limited partners. Um, you know, it is it is institutional limited partners. Uh, it's a seventy million dollar fund, mm -hmm. and uh, at, at this point, uh, we aren't actually seeking new limited partners. Mm -hmm. So it's. Uh, It'd be hard to get in, but uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll, we'll open it up with the next fund. Okay. Well, Noah, we wish you the best of luck with your company. Thank you very much. I've been speaking with Noah Doyle of Javelin Venture Partners. I'm Bambi Francisco.